Hello and welcome to this Designing Music Now review of Orchestral Tools Berlin Strings Expansion D First Chairs, or simply called First Chairs. And this library is really awesome, as you've heard possibly in the overview. In this particular review, I want to show you all of the various individual instruments, not the multis, but the individuals. And what we have are lots of different articulations for the violin one, violin two, viola, cello. And there's also some time machine patches here, which sync to your host BPM. First of all, the violins, and, these, and each of these types have the same set of articulations. So if we look here, we have legatos, sustains, sustained accent, which really gives you a lot of different, three, I think at least three different attacks on the type of uh, accent when you come into a sustain. Soft sustains, tremolos, spiccatos, staccatos, uh, portatos, shorts and longs, and pizzicatos, and as well as some trills. When you play two notes, those sound really nice and you get a lot of uh, customization options. So without further ado, let's jump in and take a listen to some of these things. Okay, it's kind of hard to show, but I want to play basically violin one sustain accents. I'm going to have violin two playing legato, violin three playing sustain immediate. So this viola playing the immediates, and cello over here is going to be playing the sustains. Let's see how that all sounds together. So I think you get the idea there that when you start mixing things, it's going to sound, sound really, really nice when you start putting all these instruments together. And there you have it. So before we listen to the individual patches, let's have a listen to how they all sound when played together. Pretty, pretty nice. So what you can check out here is, let's go ahead and solo and jump into the first uh, patch, which is the violin one legato. And you can switch between uh, X fade and velocity switching. And I'll just uh, use some velocity switching in this particular example. Very sweet. Now, to make it even sweeter, try the consorts. Very, very, very nice. Check the crossfading, and that way you can crossfade yourself with the mod wheel, please. That's pretty nice um, to be able to do it both ways. Notice that uh, pitch bend or sort of slurred legato when you play from a soft to a... Usually when you play a longer distance, it would do a nice slur for you automatically. Some other things here within Capsule, which we'll get into later, you can set different mics. Okay, it takes a while for all of those to load in there, but now let's have a listen to what the sound is like with all of the mics on.
Very beautiful. So now if you change any one of these, of course, it can go individually, but you can also have this auto gain turned on. That's with auto gain selected, the overall volume will stay the same no matter how many mics you have selected. So if you raise one of the mics, all of the others will go down. If you lower one of the mics, all of the others will go up slightly to balance it out to give you the same volume overall. We'll adjust each one of them for you. You can turn that off and you can then also chain each one of them and they'll just all move in lockstep that way. Some other things you can do here in the tools. This uh, Niente allows you to basically always stop, start at the softest dynamic. These layers you can turn on and off. There you're only having the fortissimos. And um, run robins, you can have fake neighbors. So lots of really nice customization features there. Um, you can do some ADSRs. And finally, you can do, this is for your MIDI interfaces, you can see as you change to the different CCs, you can have, uh, you can either load presets or so on for the response curves here. So lots of really great stuff. Let's go on and listen to some of the other patches now. These are the immediate sustains. Very, very nice sustains. And now let's try the sustain with accents, the ACC. So if you notice, the attack is different depending on your velocity. So if I play softly, if I play medium, if I play really loud, well, actually that was loud. If I play medium, it's like this. So you get a different attack to each note. Of course, each note in a chord can have different velocities as well. Let's uh, now check out the sustained softs. Beautiful, the tremolos. Try that with the consort, the mutes essentially. I don't think I've ever heard better tremolos out of a virtual instrument than, than I hear with this. Remember, these are essentially solos, but when you're playing chords, of course, you're getting uh, probably different types of round robins for each one of the different notes that are play being played. Doesn't look like you can set the number of round robins or anything, but you can try Fake Neighbor. Just a tremendous amount of variety in this uh, patch, in, this, in these patches. So let's try the violin spiccatos real quick. Notice how it adjusts to the playing speed very nicely. Is 
These are velocity switched. If you want, you can, of course, do uh, cross fades. there. Now let's try the staccatos. Like it a lot. Let's try the short portatos. Now remember, these are not, there's, I don't believe there's any reverb on here. That's actually the sample itself. So it's just, and that's just the close mics. So let's hear those with the, uh, oh, actually that has the trees and the close. So that's where you're getting the reverb. If I turn that off, you'll hear this. Turn those back on. Beautiful. Now, that's that Teldex storing, scoring stage that makes these library sounds so amazing. Here are the long portatos. go. Try the pizzicatos. Beautiful. So that's the pizzicatos. Try this all together. <laughs> How amazing is all that? So the last one I wanted to show you here are the trills. Let's check those guys out. So the way you get a trill to work is by playing two notes that are either a half step or whole step apart. And you can have them either in tone equals start tone or opposite. This is where the in tone will equal the start tone. And these are the consorts. Let's listen to them off of mute. Let's try them with the velocity switching. And there you have it. Those are the violins with all the various articulations in this library.